Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Room and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Currently we are playing as just Clank because we are on our first visit to Orcs On. A lot of people don't like this part, but there is something about it that I do like personally. This level kicks a lot of ass when you're Ratchet later, but right now as Clank it's pretty slow. It's a very lonely feeling. But there's a part in this level where you get like nine or ten gadget bots with you. And I do kind of like that part. I think it's kind of fun, honestly. So yeah, look at this level. Yeah. You can even see the toxic sludge being poured into the water via the Piping. Very atmospheric planet. And the music is great too. You cannot kill that guy right now. I mean, you can, but it's not worth trying. You're not supposed to fight him. Yes, get these bolts, very nice. I like that sound effect when you hit the bug guy's clank. All right, enter. And follow. The commands in this game can be pretty unreliable. The Clank sections in Ratchet and Clank 3 are really super good. But in Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2, they're kind of this, you know what I mean? All oh, right, attack you. Alrighty. Don't give me slow down game. It's not the game, that's just the emulator. I want to get these bolts, you know what I mean? Alright, up here now. This part can be pretty fun. When you're trying to find these gadge bots around this maze like area. Make that explode. Alright, enter. A whole lot of bolts. Funny thing is, is that, uh, may maybe spoilers by the way, the funny thing is that when you revisit the, the Solana Galaxy in Ratchet and Clank 3, inflation has gone through the roof, and in this game every bolt is worth between 1 and 5 bolts, but in Ratchet and Clank 3, every bolt is worth like 10 to 1000 in that game. And you can get, like, so many bolts in a very short amount of time in that game. You can get 50,000 bolts in Ratchet and Clank 3 pretty easily, if you know what you're doing. And don't even get me started on New Game Plus in that game. You can get, like, a million bolts in a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, neat little uh, segment there. 
I don't know why, I just kind of like doing that. That, that. that part with the gadget bots. Alright. Wait here. Ah, uh, wait. There we go. At least I got the bolts, so it's fine. Alright, follow me. There's a way to skip this entire level in the PS3 version of the game, but I'm emulating the PS3 version. I don't like doing that skip anyway. There we go. A lot of bolts. Alright, hit you. Last episode in uh, Gaspar, there was a time where I threw a bomb glove at a bunch of crates and no money came out of the crates. And I'll and, and like I didn't I, I didn't say anything about it, but I did notice it. When I was playing, but I just didn't commentate about it. And I was kind of like, oh, that's a shame. In my head. I, I, I said that to myself. A whole lot of waiting in these uh, clank sections. That's pretty satisfying. Okay, I think that's... there we go. I think that's all of them. Wanna get this crate too. And, oh yeah, enter. And big invisible wall. He cannot go through these bars, even though he clearly could. This room always weirded me out over here, because there's nothing in here, and you would assume that there would be. And look at this, there's like a crate that you just can't break right there. Yep, that's why we came here. But there is one more thing we can do. And it's right there. I wonder if you could just do this instead. I never tried this before. Nah, you can't. Oh well. <laughs> you can probably see my thought process as I'm doing that. Might as well get this bolt. There we go. Alright, now over here, as long as you stay on the edge, these bombs should never bother you. And if one guy dies, like if one of your little guys die, You'll have to, like, backtrack all the way to get it. That was fixed in Ratchet & Clank 3. In Ratchet & Clank 3 in the Clank sections, you don't really have to, like, backtrack to them when they die. They just come to you.
Alright, I want to get this money. Not much of it, but it is money, so might as well. And break you. Alright, over here now. One of my little guys is way behind. That ain't good. This part's fun. There's like a electrical fuse that's like haywire and you gotta like avoid it. All right, go on. Okay. I'm gonna wait here so that fuse goes by. There we go. Not as bad as it looks. All right, now walk in the middle of this. Insomniac Games knew what they were doing. <laughs> Putting all those little guys on this narrow walkway. They, they knew what they were doing. Alrighty, over here. And attack you. Usually they attack faster than that. Here we go. Okay, and attack you. Alright, let's kill this guy now. There we go. See, that, that, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. I don't hate the clank sections in this game as much as other people do, or seem to. Alright, some bolts over here. Get these guys. Okay, let me get my mist guy over here. There he is. Is that all of them? Alright, I should have 10 of them right now. Okay, that, that's 10. I also like the sound of all of them walking. Alrighty. Look at that, a bunch of free bolts. Look at that, and then this. And then these bolts. 
There we go. Hmm. Better not let Ratchet see this one. I wonder why. Well, let's go back to the ship to find out why. Okay, this is kind of funny to me. You can very easily and quickly just jump down, right? Or you can take this very slow platform. <laughs> I don't know, it's just slow and funny. Like, why is this platform here? Why is this here? Alright. I guess you can't re-enter the ship from the... Or you, you can't activate the cutscene from the back. Hey! You giving me these or not? They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. What do you have in there? Gears. Metal filings. Dust. You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our mission. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe I Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe I Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Joe I Resort, Pokey Taru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. <laughs> Alrighty, Poketaru. One of the best planets in the game. Look at this place. So cool. Alright, that was uh, Orcs On. Thank you for watching. It, it does get better on like the second visit, but it is... Like, like when we play as Ratchet and actually go back to that planet later, it, it's a lot of fun, trust me. Alright, thank you for watching.